Good morning. Uh, we're here at the 2004 uh, Mid America Truck Show. It's a Wednesday morning. Why don't you, uh, gentlemen, introduce yourself? Austin Kaiser, Greg Kaiser. All right. Well, let's let's talk about this truck that we're in front of. And before we do that, but where are you guys from? Rosedale, Virginia. And what are we standing in front of? It's a 2002 379 Pete uh, with a 2024 EB cattle trailer. All right. Well, uh, why don't you guys uh, lead the way and let's uh, look at the truck and point out some, some cool things that you guys uh, like about it. Uh, when we bought the truck, it was a uh, green color and it kind of had faded. And uh, we painted the truck navy blue, I guess, two and a half years ago. And uh, I hauled coal with this truck when we first bought it. Uh, for probably about a year in West Virginia, Kentucky, and in Virginia. The inside is beautiful. Yeah, the floor was like that when we bought it, and then we kind of done everything else. We put a few lights up in it, and shifter, and new knobs, and switches, seats. and gauge rings, seats. So practically an interior makeover. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> What do you do uh, to keep the floor so nice besides uh, the typical, any any other things to keep the floor nice? Use pledge, pledge polish on it. Yeah. This is the best <laughs> thing to keep it shiny. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And what uh, else do we have going on on the truck? This truck actually used to be 270 inch wheelbase and I stretched it and it measures out 308 now. Okay. And we put new deck plates on it and, and uh, new fenders and had all the frame done. Put a painted. 12 gauge filler panel on. 12 gauge filler panel between the fuel tanks. Okay. Tell us about this trailer that you got here. Uh, like I said, it's a 24 model and uh, it, it's, it's got uh, Luma Clear on it. We, yeah. Had it Luma Cleared when we bought it. So what's, uh, explain Luma Clear for those that don't know. It's uh, just a clear coating they put on there to keep the aluminum from staining. Okay. It'll be like that for years to come won't fade out. We redone all the mud flaps on the trailer. Put EB mud flap weights on the back. So uh, who hauls cattle? I will be some. We This uh, this trailer works every day and my truck works every day. But on, uh, we have five or six trucks actually that haul cattle all the time. Well, you guys have more than one truck here, so why don't we go down and look at the other trucks that you guys have? Okay. How'd you get into collecting these trucks and building trucks? Well, we we came out here a few years ago, Austin, myself, and looked around and got to watching what everybody's doing. We'd always try to take care of our stuff, keep it looking good. We'd never had nothing this caliber, but we started kind of adding on, trying to do some extra stuff to them. Just more of a hobby, I guess. Yeah. That's a good hobby to have. Well, tell us about this truck here that's uh, to your right. I'll let you. Uh, it's a 2019 uh, 389 glider. Got a 550 cat and an 18-speed in it. That's super clean. Is that fresh paint on there? Yes, sir. We painted the engine, put the chrome pipe and valve covers. I love what you did with the radiator fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different. We did that because the floor is actually painted with an American flag. So. Some of the accessories that you guys have in here in terms of brands and different things if you, if you happen to know them we've got road works uh, grand general lights in the ceiling uh several different ones i guess it's an h tube shifter yeah okay very nice the light panels are 12 gauge
So what's your favorite thing about this truck? The paint, probably. I've never had anything with paint that looks like this does. In terms of what? Uh, it's just clear and, I mean, black paint's hard to get look like that. And speaking of which, what, what kind of uh, hassle does this thing give you when it's time to clean it? <laughs> a lot. We're used to this light blue truck. This black's a lot different. <laughs> we do most, we've done most of it ourselves, but we'd like to thank Evan and his bunch. They're going to help us a little bit down here because it's a lot. So when you guys go to clean this thing, uh, do you have to pick a day where it's not going to be super hot and you can keep everything cool? Yes. It makes a lot of difference. Our, where we're from, we have limestone water. It's a little hard to wash black. So what do you do then? Try to do it at the night most of the time. Really? Yeah. And uh, when it comes to the water, you uh, you can't get it. You can't get it. This is a question for me. You yeah. can't get it treated water or soft water. Well, we're get, we're going to do something. We've never done it, but we're going to get us some kind of a treatment system to mm -hmm. help because it's about impossible with this black. Well, this is definitely a great looking truck. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Got, like the third truck that you guys have here. Okay. This is a 2018 389 glider, 550 cat and 18 speed. And this? Pretty much everything on this truck we've done ourselves. We bought it when it was new and we've done about all the work to it. Well, this truck is no stranger to the Big Rig Videos camera because uh, we got to interview Austin uh, two years ago at the Mayberry Truck Show and uh, we spoke spoke about it and speaking of truck shows you guys have a truck show that's coming up that we'll talk about here in a second but uh, before we go into that where is the truck show going to be held at and tell us a little bit about the town and everything it's uh the government center in lebanon virginia uh the town of lebanon they've helped us tremendously uh with putting the show on and uh, we've got some family that's helped a lot too and and uh, we're looking forward to it this year okay all right, good. Well, we're going to get into that just a little bit. Uh, let's look at the inside of this truck here. It ain't hollering at us. I <laughs> know. <laughs> this truck, Chris, actually won two first place trophies here two years ago. Uh, working interior and working engine. And very well deserved too. Thank you. And why is it called Midnight Shadow? That was my mom's <laughs> deal. <laughs> she, uh, most of our trucks, you know, a lot of people do painted stuff, which we do have on the black truck, but mm -hmm. uh, we were one of the only people that had a truck that had a lot of chicken lights because everybody went to the painted panels and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, she called it Midnight Shadow because it looked lit up at night. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did this truck do or what does it currently do? I drove this truck for three years. Yeah. And uh, hauled coal, corn, sand, anything that wouldn't hurt the trailer. And uh, it's not hauled anything for a little over a year now. Before this show last year, we parked it and started working on it. And it's not hauled anything since. Is it getting into Retirement years or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we we'll probably decided. use it again one of these days after we get done. Yeah, Try after you get done winning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we done won all of the awards. <laughs> we can go back to work. <laughs> what year is this trailer? A 21 model. Beautiful job. Who takes care of the polishing for you? We usually do most of it ourselves at our shop, but this year we had a Patrick Friday from down at uh, it's Winston your Salem. It's, it, it's Your Time's name. His company come up and helped us get everything ready to come up here. We had so much going on. Well, you guys keep a great bunch of trucks. And uh, what's the total truck count in you guys' business? Uh, Austin's got the one that he owns, and I've got 17, and my dad has 18. Oh boy. 
And we all run them, I mean, they're all together in one shop. We do everything together. So you can just about put a truck show on your Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, okay. We try to every weekend. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll uh, add uh, Melissa to the conversation and we'll talk about the truck show that you guys got coming up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, why don't you tell us about the truck show that you guys have going on? Well, it's the um, Southwest Virginia Big Rig Showdown. It is in Lebanon, Virginia, and it's August 9th and 10th. This will be our fourth year. Okay, so how mm -hmm. did that uh, truck show get started and why? Um, well, we were taking this light blue truck to quite a few shows and kind of got into the swing of things and we just wanted to do one around our area because around where we're from there's not many truck shows and we kind of wanted to have one where a lot of people bring working trucks that don't really go to some of these other big shows to kind of give everybody a, something to do you know with their truck cleaned up and bring it and show it off. So having a show close to home how did the first year go? The first year went great it was uh, kind of right after COVID and a lot of people, I guess, were wanting to come out and do something. So we had we had a great turnout, didn't we? Probably 75 trucks, um, wow, I think. Wow, that's, that's great. That first year, so it w went really well. Yeah, so how is a, explain how the show is like broken up. You know, do you have categories of things? You know, tell us about what goes on. We have a lot of uh, coal industry around where we're from. So we have a coal hauler division and an off-road coal division. And Okay, so I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I've been same for years that I've been wanting to get to Virginia and West Virginia because of what I've been hearing. I think I actually said it in the video where I interviewed you. So coal hauler division and things like that, that, that has me sold right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so please continue. What else do you have going on? Uh, well, just your, you know, normal show bobtail show work or bobtail working trucks and then combos, both classes. And uh, we have an antique class because around there's a lot of people have some old trucks and and uh, it's we do a do we do a people's choice is it we're gonna do people's choice this year uh -huh. do people's choice and then the, the drivers vote for best of show yeah and then we'll have a people's choice award okay yep and what activities do you guys have going on for the spectators um, we have uh, entertainment live entertainment each night uh, music and bands and then we have um, things for the kids on Saturday. We have a Power Wheels Parade nice. that they can sign up for. That they it, it was the cutest thing ever last year. We have a lot of bounce houses and food trucks and okay. just your typical festival oriented truck and then show. After the show on Saturday evening we do kind of like the light deal and yeah and then everybody leaves and we do a parade through town. The parade's probably the biggest thing that the spectators really like crowded. to see. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys have planned for this year? This year we're going to, uh, well we brought Evan on board to help us out a little bit uh, with the show because it's growing and it's getting more than what we can. Uh, we got a great family that helps us, uh, we couldn't do it without them, uh, but it's gotten a little bit more than what we can handle ourselves, so we're going to bring in some help. But uh, I guess, we've. what have we added? Um, well, probably some more entertainment and we have Thomas Taylor and uh, From the Edge, a band called From the Edge, they were super. They played last year, they were really good. So everybody seems to enjoy it. That's great to have local entertainment and because- It brings everybody in, yeah. yeah. And for people coming out of the area, mm -hmm. you know, away from you guys' area, we get to experience what you guys have going on there, the local flavor of everything. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned an organization. So uh, tell me about the, the organization and, and how this show helps others. It, it's a tremendous help in our community because we don't have a lot of uh, businesses, big business, so we can bring that money in, generate that money in from everywhere else. Uh, the first year we, see last year we raised 30000 for a nonprofit called the Go Team, which is a deacon-led ministry through our uh, church, Rosedale Baptist, and they, um, that's just what they do. They go where they're needed, like um, a natural disaster or if a, a Help a lot El of elderly, elderly people. people build uh, ramps and things in the community, or if if it's a family that's sick and in the hospital, that will pay for their hotel, you know, just those type things. That's that's awesome. Yeah. What's uh, how has the uh, local community responded to those things that you guys have done? Oh, awesome. They they appreciate it so much, and it it 
It, it just, I can't believe how it's grown in four years. The Go Team, the the nonprofit, actually fixes the drivers and all the oh, yeah. uh, the competitors a meal on. Is it Friday uh, night? Friday night, or the Go Team, the church, they fix a phenomenal. Uh, dinner for everyone on Friday night to come to and their families. Mm -hmm. uh, drivers can bring their families and uh, they just sign up for how many they want to, to come eat and they serve them all. So. And talk about a, a real family uh, community style show. That, that sounds really great. Now, what's the, the most exciting part of, of this show that you guys put together? I think Austin, you may have mentioned the the convoy light show, leading out of town. Well, listen, what what's most exciting for you? <laughs> the Power Wheels Parade. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the age limit on that? Uh, you can't get no grown guys in Power Wheels. <laughs> if, if they can get in the car, the parents can, with the remote control, can drive it. Yeah. Okay. So from from very small up till you know, I guess seven, eight. Mm -hmm. But they loved it last year. We we had the most fun with that. That's cool. Yeah. Everybody was lined up down between yeah. the trucks. They we call them out by name it. and number. So <laughs> yeah. So Greg, what's your favorite part of the show? The parade after the light show. Really, it draws people from four or five states around to come and watch it. it there's a lot of people watch the track show, but you wouldn't believe the crowd that comes out in town for that. Yeah. That is cool. It's awesome. Which brings me to a question: What you mentioned, you know, drawing people from you know far away. Um, what's your guys' capacity for, for trucks um, at, at your showgrounds there about? Probably 125, somewhere in that area, just according how you park everything. Okay, because a lot of folks are going to see this, and you may have some folks coming, some drivers coming from very far yeah. away, you know. That'd um, be great. <laughs> and, and if you fill up the place, then you know that that's a good thing, and, and then we look to expand for the next year. Yeah. You know, for the show, in terms of raising money and, and getting help from outside of the area, uh, who do you have for sponsors that are helping you guys out with the show as well? I have so many sponsors um, from our local community that I would be afraid that I would leave one of those out. But I do want to put a, a shout out to Worldwide Equipment because um, Rodney and Jonathan, they, they brought us in a trailer for the stage last year and just donated and they give uh, so many things for our auction. We actually, we, I forgot that part. We have an auction uh, that raises money uh, during the day, a parade auction, and then we auction off other things. But, but Worldwide has really went above and beyond on helping us with the show. Okay. So. Uh, one of our sponsors is Kevin Hilton and his wife Mona and his son Seth, they're really great people. They're, they've always helped us all four years. Little B. And, uh, Little B Enterprises is their company. And s and Construction, uh, Ray Sullivan, uh, they helped us a lot this year for this uh, this year's show. And, uh, and of course, Gary Kaiser Truck and Greg's dad, they, they help us out, so. That's, that's right, that's one of the things that I wanted to ask you about. Tell us about Greg Kaiser Trucking. Well, we're, my dad had trucks, I guess, in the early 70s, started out. And I worked on them, started driving as soon as I got out of high school and bought a truck and just kind of kept adding on through the years. And my dad's got a bunch of trucks, too. He's got about 18 or 19. We've run everything pretty much together. Wow, that's amazing. So your, your father is still active in the trucking business? Yes, he is. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, do you mind if I ask his age? 75. That's awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. So three generations, and we have then four we have generations. Four. Four generations. Uh, we have a grandson. Creed. Yeah. Yeah. Creed's Creed, my Creed son's will be here tomorrow. And my wife is Taylor. 